The Lark Forgeon made history as the youngest iron chef. Now we can enjoy the acclaimed chef's work at not one, not two, but three dining destinations here in New York City. And we are so excited to get a taste right now. Welcome, Mark. Good to Thank see you. you. Good to see you. It's, I'm so excited that you're here. Um, I, I know you have some good food for us, so we're going to get right into it. Let's talk first about carbonara in a jar. Yeah, so this is, um, you know, as you know, I like to have fun with my food. Um, yeah. And somebody challenged me a couple years ago to do a pasta course for like 700 people. And I'm also very proud of what I do too. So I yeah. needed, I like kind of freaked out, like how am I going to keep pasta hot for 700 people as it's going out? Yeah. So I came up with this kind of idea to do carbonara in a jar, which I'll show you. Okay. So the one little twist, this is a smoked egg yolk, if you oh, smell it. But you can't buy a smoked egg yolk. You have to smoke it at home. Well, we actually smoke the olive oil, and then, so you watch. So the pasta goes into the jar. And so this is gonna keep it hot, too, by putting it in the jar. It doesn't only keep it hot, but it also emulsifies the pasta, so you'll see. Oh my gosh. So I love egg, this idea. It goes right in. And the heat from the pasta is gonna cook that yolk enough so that yes, people sir. don't need to be afraid of it at home. And you can do this at home. Like, people love doing this. Hey, watch it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and this is great for, like, a barbecue, a picnic. You've got everything you need right here in the jar. Well, the you can way serve that we, it the way that. that we serve it is like that. I love that. Oh, my gosh. So this is from Peasant, right? Your yep. restaurant, Peasant? We do Peasant. this at Peasant. <sighs> and look how creamy and delicious that looks. Oh, my God. I'm going to try that so at home. So it turns into that. And then yeah. this this is at restaurant Mark Forge Own, which okay. we call Forge. Yeah. Um, this is our you know our first one. Is this a bite for me? I would take this one first. Okay. So that's called the Szechuan button. Oh, and I just eat this by itself. Eat that like that. Oh. Just chew it a little bit, <laughs> and you'll see your mouth is going to start to tingle. Which I know sounds kind of funny, but it does you'll that. see. I like it. And then your mouth starts to tingle. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's tingling. It's tingling. Oh. <laughs> oh wow! What is that? It's called the Szechuan button. And then that's oh God, a, and that that's a little cools avocado. It down. Yeah, you want to do something bright and acidic after all that. Oh my God! So this is the hiramasa. Tell me what what this is and how. So this is the hiramasa tartar that we've been mm -hmm. doing at uh, Restaurant Mark Forgione. Yeah. Literally since day one. Uh, at the time, it was my girlfriend, now wife's favorite dish, so we couldn't take it off. Yeah. And it's just become like the, the, the way that we like to start everybody when you come to the restaurant. I love this. And these are Saratoga chips. I am from Saratoga. I love that we gave you chips and delicious water. <laughs> <laughs> but this, um, and this restaurant, this is from Mark Forgione this Restaurant. This is Mark Forgione. We yeah. just reopened, um, and now we're moving oh. just down the block to a, a new address called 30 Hudson Street. And you did um, a classic menu there that you kind of brought down, brought yeah, back it was all like, the classics I, from. Like, you know, I, I guess you know you're getting a little older in the business when you can have like a greatest hits yeah. album. But, <laughs> but I did like a greatest hits over the 15 years that kind of the building blocks that like got us here. Yeah, so. I love that. And then okay. this is my brand new restaurant. Yeah. Um, this is called One Fifth. Okay. Uh, it's on 8th Street, 5th Avenue, like in the iconic One Fifth residential building right on Washington Square Park. Yeah, beautiful. Um, so what are, do you serve at One Fifth? It's more casual. So one fifth is our kind of like Italian tapas, the way that like the Four Jones would would eat at home. Yep. And uh, we have a wonderful pastry chef. Her name is Jamie, and this is a dessert that we call raspberry jammy. And we stuff the we stuff each individual raspberry with jam. Oh my God. <laughs> What is this? Just like a creme anglaise? Like it's a, like a lemon curd, yeah. A lem oh my God, that is so delicious. But you talk about doing desserts in a jar too, right? Do you do desserts yeah, in a jar? Yeah, we serve we serve the cookie in a, cookie, not cookies, cookie in a jar. What kind of cookie is this? This is this is the <laughs> chocolate chunk, kind of based on the Levain cookie, which we found out was created in the kitchen of one, one fifth. fifth. Oh yeah. my God, that's amazing! In the All 90s. delicious stuff. Great choices. Three different restaurants to go to. Mark, congrats on reopening uh, you so your much. restaurant too with all the classics. Go down and get the classics. All of this stuff is amazing. For all of Mark's latest, follow him on Instagram and be sure to stop by his restaurants for some seriously incredible dishes. Thank you so much, Mark, Very for welcome. lunch today because this is coming up next for me.